It's Alex Pavia. And I'm Brian Alvarez. And we are here to give you your weekly news for the week of September 19, 2016. Tuesday, September 20th, Student Senate meeting today. Don't forget to send your class delegates at the beginning of SSR. Teachers, grades due today by 4 p.m. Don't forget. Hey you, are you the future scientist? Science Club meets every Wednesday at lunch in room B110. New members always welcome. Greetings, Child Development. Child Development Club meets this Wednesday in room E104 during lunch. Academic students are expected to attend meetings. College night is coming. All students and parents are invited to participate in this year's Eastside Union High School District College Night on Wednesday, September 28th at the Independence High School's large gym from 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. Over 100 colleges, universities, trade schools, and military academies from California and the country will have representatives for you to meet and talk to. Homecoming is coming. Go on your school loop and click the link attached to nominate your royal homecoming court. Nominations are now open. Nominations end this Friday, September 30th. Eastside Explorers, did someone say España? Spain 2017, all students interested in traveling with us to Spain this April need to check in with Senor Rao this week. The enrollment deadline is approaching. He'll help you manage the deadline and even get a special extension if needed. See him ASAP in E106. Mesa Club, come be a part of something awesome. The WCO Mesa Club is having its regular week. Stop by C-115 today during lunch. Bring a friend, build a team, bring it to competition. Mesa. Unified Mission Club, check out Unified Missions, a Christian faith-based club open to all in C-115. We meet Fridays during lunch. Thursday, September 22nd. Interactors, our second meeting is this Thursday in room C-210. Money for Fall Leadership Conference and t-shirts is due today. Find any Interact officer in the upper quad to turn it in. Again, all payments are due today. Friday, September 23rd, food distribution day from 3 to 5 p.m. at Apollo. All families are welcome. Saturday, September 24th, there is start Saturday school. Make sure you come and get the work done. Parent conferences. Hey Royals, are you looking for an opportunity to earn community service hours? Are you interested in promoting your club? Then volunteering at the parent conference night is the event for you. We are looking for student volunteers help with the setup translating and school loop account setup. If you are interested, please see Miss Jackie in the City Year Office for more information. Interested in drama? Calling all future actors. Didn't get a chance to audition for this year's play? Come to F5 this Wednesday or this Friday between 3.30 and 5 p.m. to audition to be an understudy. Come to F5 this Wednesday or this Friday between 3.30 and 5 p.m. to audition to be an understudy. You can learn a part for the play and get the full experience of being in drama club without the requirement of performing. Questions? See Brooks in C116. Up next with sports, we have Brian Fillmore and Anthony Rodriguez. That's all we have for this week. Go Royals! Hey Royals, this is your sports news updates for the week of September 19, 2016. On Tuesday, girls tennis has a game at Live Oak, 3.15 to 5 o'clock. Then girls volleyball has a game at Gunderson, 4.30 to 8.30. Good luck, ladies. Then on Thursday, girls tennis play here against MP, 3.15 to 5 o'clock. Come and support. Then girls volleyball plays at home against San Jose High, 4.30 to 8.30. Come and support your Lady Royals. On Friday, this is where it all counts in league as your Royals take on the James Lick Comets at James Lick High School. This has been your sports news segment. I'm Brian Fillmore. And I'm Anthony Rodriguez. Go, Go Royals. Royals! Hey, hey Royals. Royals! Today we will talk about the word of the week. This segment is important because it can give us a broader vocabulary and have better reading comprehension. It was result from this will be getting a higher test score. This week's word is rhetorical, R-H-E-T-O-R-I-C-A-L. Rhetorical means to persuade or impress. Example, in spite of her rhetorical speech, the audience knew it was plagiarism. This was Anna Soto and Miguel Ariela with the word of the week. Hey Royals, here's the fun fact for this week. Did you know every year over 1.2 million students drop out of high school in the United States alone? That's a student every 26 seconds or 7,000 a day. A kid just dropped out right now. That's the fun fact for this week. I'm Bella. And I'm Danny. Go Royals. Hello Royals, I'm Brian. And I'm Diana Bailon. And this is Royal Fitness. Hey Diana, do you wake up in the morning feeling groggy and a bit heavy? As a matter of fact, I do. Well, one simple solution instead of a regular cup of joe would be to work out. 
get your heart and blood pumping, maybe even go out for a morning jog. If you don't exercise, your muscles will become flabby and weak. Also, your heart and lungs won't function efficiently. Statistics show that people who work out live longer and more enjoyable lives. Looks like working out has many benefits. Thank you, and once again, this has been Royal Fitness. And, and go, go Royals! Royals. Hey Royals, this is Juwan again for your weekly weather report. From this week's Tuesday till next Tuesday will be sunny at 75 through 80 degrees and 0% chance of raining, so don't wear any jackets. So make sure you stand right next to your ex because you'll need to stand something shady. There you go. So yeah, that will be your weekly weather report from me. Bye. My name is Hanato Juarez and this is your World News. World's highest bridge near completion in Guangzhou, would you dare to drive across it standing at 1,800 feet above the ground? In the political world, Secretary of State John Kerry announced that the White House would be looking to increase the number of refugees to 100,000 by the 2017. This is important because throughout the 2016 presidential campaign, all candidates have approached the issue from both sides, either by saying that opening the country to more refugees can endanger United States citizens, or they are saying that we as a country aren't doing enough to help people in need. That's it for today, and don't forget, it's always a great day to be a royal.